All right, I'm pair Braden up with a sow. You know, he's uh, sow's like five, shoot, five nine, one forty-five. Little guy, and he throws like mid to upper nineties. It's awesome. But he just shows you this. Like everyone hates to be paired up with this guy because he does everything really, really well. So just you know, you're gonna learn from the best, right? All right, let's take him to your leg lifts. Take him into his leg lift. Okay, so notice him coming out of his lift. So he's coming out of his lift right here. You're coming out of your lift right here. So if we do that, we draw that line off that drive leg. Okay, you can see you're a little bit more balanced up. We can see his force vector is already pushing down. Here's just here's maybe even pushing back. Okay, let's take you into your load. Okay, so you're really not moving down. You're moving out. You're just not moving down. We got to move forward and down, right? So lift leg knee breaks your front hip. Take him. Watch him. Similar to Brandon too. Watch how he, they kind of fall down into as they move down the mound. He extends his leg. But see that looks like they're falling, right? All right, so look look at the point where, let's go a little bit back right here. Okay, let's look at the force vectors here. Big difference there, right? He's got a lower center of gravity. He's more linear than you. So the key to get linear, what do we need to do? We need to move forward and down the same rate. So if your hips started here and we want them out here, we got to go forward and down the same rate. We don't want to just push out. We don't want to go down and out. We're not dropping and driving, right? We go forward and down at the same rate. That'll pick up all of our good momentum. That'll line up our force vectors, and that'll allow us to get flexion as we move down. All right, let's take you to front foot. So like you just you turn your foot open, and you put down. You don't build any power. Let's take a sow. He extends out. He starts actually moving into knee extension. Opens his front foot just before he lands and kicks his ankle through. He won't let me move this video anymore. We can't see his ankle. His ankle's kicking. Why can't I move this video? Nope. All right. So his ankle's kicking. He hits front foot. He stabilizes. His hips open. Shoulders stay close. There it goes. Okay, well, let's watch his ankle here. I'll go back. So he kicks that ankle out and then goes into front foot right after. Hips open as the arm's coming up. Notice how the arm, see how the arm's cocking up as the hips are rotating? Also notice this too. Look, hips are closed. Hips start rotating before he even touches down. So there's those hips rotating right there. And he touches down and they slam open as that arm cocks up. So look at the difference. What are the difference between you two at front foot? In that bigger stride, he's got that he's fully extended on the drive leg, triple extension. Let's see when your hips open. Your hips open right here. Look at the difference between your hip shoulder separation when your hips up. Okay, then when he goes into shoulder rotation, see that external rotation. Okay, look at his great front leg extension, optimal external rotation. And look before pitch release, look how he continues to extend that front leg. He almost breaks it off, right? So he really converts those forces. Boom. All right.
pushing all that power like a pole vaulter, right? Up the up the bar, up the body into the ball. 